This is Charter Local Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz in Gilroy today in Santa Clara County. I don't know what to say other than congratulations. We're speaking with Mike Wasserman. He is a supervisor in Santa Clara County. He represents where we are today, Gilroy. The headline, Santa Clara County boasts the nation's strongest job market. Not the states, the, the nations. nations. Yes, sir. Uh, what's going right? Thank you, thank you. Yes. Everything's going right. We're, we're operating on all cylinders. A lot of that, I think about half of it, comes from technology. Right. This is Silicon Valley, it the is. home of Silicon it Valley, is. the home of the biggest, most innovative companies in the world. And the jobs are going there, the economy's booming, and Santa Clara County's producing, not only in, in tech, Brad, but also in agriculture. Right. And I want to talk about that mix of jobs. Obviously, tech, high-paying jobs. Yes. Ag can be high-paying. What about jobs at kind of the other end of the scale? Are those jobs plentiful as well? We don't have so much at the other end. Santa okay. Clara County is the most diversified county in the nation. Right. But we're also the most diversified in having the highest average income and the lowest average oh, income. Not a whole lot in the middle. Mm. Okay. But and at I, the end of the day, people in Santa Clara County are working. And I want to talk about the lower end in a moment. But first, you mentioned ag. I must ask you about your wineries, because when we were last in Gilroy, you had just opened the Santa Clara Wine Trail to great fanfare. And over the last year, despite the drought, wineries are doing very well up and down the state, adopting fantastic irrigation technology. How's your wine trail doing? The wine trail is doing fabulous, and I must say, I'll give a plug to my people. I'm Please. the Santa Clara County Supervisor. Yes, you are. You're allowed. Santa Clara County wineries are the finest in the nation. Really? They've just returned from winning gold, silver, platinum awards in international competitions. And here in Santa Clara County, we have those wineries here. And the wine trail, which, as you said, it was right. a little over a year ago, we've now added half a dozen more wineries onto the wine trail. And kind of an added benefit, Brad, you know, here was the wineries, here were people from Santa Clara County and Alameda County, Santa right. Cruz County, San Francisco County, come down for a nice day. But in addition, it's benefiting the real estate world. Oh, really? Where if you would go to, to buy a home and you'd pull the flyer out, you'd look and you'd say, okay, three bedroom, two bath, nice, 2,000 square feet, um, close to good schools. Now, one of the bullets on the flyer says, on the historic wine trail. Really? Yes. So it yes. says that the wine trail is a selling point. I want to yes. ask you, though, about how you take Santa Clara wineries to the next level. It's undeniable Sonoma County's done well, Napa County's done yep. well. San Luis Obispo County is a county that maybe is where Santa Clara was 10 years ago with Paso mm -hmm. Robles. Mm -hmm. When do we put Santa Clara firmly on the map? As far as I'm concerned, Santa Clara you. County's on but, the but map. In terms of the winery industry, how do we really take it to that? That if wine lovers Google award-winning, right. this, that, et cetera, they will see wineries listed that won prestigious platinum best of show gold awards. And if they look at the address, they're going to see that they're in Santa Clara County. We spoke about folks at the other end of the economic scale. And despite the fact that Santa Clara County is booming, the job creation numbers are just Phenomenal, 6.2% over a year, over 60,000 jobs added. There still is a stubborn homeless population, not just in Santa Clara County, but up and down the state. You have been working to try to defeat homelessness. Tell me about your efforts and where we go from here. Sure, Brad, and, and the efforts have been extensive. Between mm -hmm. dollars actually spent and services provided, the county has estimated about $100 million mm -hmm. towards the homeless individuals. In Santa Clara County at any one time, there's 7,500, there was, excuse me, Please. there was 7,500 chronically homeless, homeless people as of a year ago. I understand. In our most recent study, just completed a couple months sure. ago, we've dropped that to 6,500. Nice. And that's significant, Brad, because that proved our hypothesis that if we can provide temporary, transitional, and permanent housing along with services, we can reduce the number of homeless people in Santa Clara County. And going from 7,500 to 6,500, that's the first time this century that the homeless count in Santa Clara County has decreased. Do you think it's tied to the improving job market? Or, no. Okay, please. No, I don't. I think it's tied to 
the good people of Santa Clara County that are involved with addressing the needs of the homeless, with the County of Santa Clara leading the way. I've mm -hmm. been, I'm co-chair of Destination Home, mm -hmm. along with Mayor Sam Licardo of San Jose and his predecessor, Chuck Reed, for four years. Mm -hmm. We have a number of different organizations that are looking at what services can we provide to the homeless. And homeless individuals are veterans. Homeless individuals are men and women, right. the sons and daughters of other people, right. and a great deal of which have mental illness. And I want to ask you about that, because so often when you look at the homeless population, there is a diagnosis, maybe a dual diagnosis, focused on mental health. And that can present unique challenges, yes. including yes. service resistance. Yes. And so how is Santa Clara County, which is surrounded by such immense beauty, dealing with you know the attraction of folks wanting to live here and yet mental health and service resistance. Sure, and, and you hit it right on the nail. It's mm -hmm. the mental issues with, the, nobody wants to be homeless, right? okay? Whether or not you have mental issues or not, mm -hmm. obviously. But it's providing services to those that need mental health services, mm -hmm. that need drug and alcohol services, right. some sort of social services. And if you are in this location by a bridge or a creek one day, and I come back the next day to provide services to mm. your aid or a phone number mm -hmm. or give you a ride somewhere you can get help, and you're not there the next day, mm. it's tough to provide services. Right. If I learn that you're a veteran and I want to hook you up with the VA and you're not there, that's why the housing is so important. And when we have individuals that are in the housing, not only out of the sun and the rain, right. okay, we also know where they are and they can provide services. And part of the conditions of receiving that housing is receiving those services. Right. Is, is attending the clinics is defeating their alcohol or drug dependency, those kinds of things. And as a result, we're solving homelessness. When we look at alcohol and drug dependency, so often that can lead to incarceration. Yes. And we know that California really is going through a revolution when it comes to how we incarcerate and whether we incarcerate. Mm -hmm. As you know, the U.S. Supreme Court a few years back called California prisons cruel and unusual and we saw what was known as realignment. Lower level offenders being incarcerated in county jails. Yes. We also then saw the passage of Prop 47, mm -hmm. which reclassified certain felonies to misdemeanors. And so, so much is going on when we look at criminal justice. How is Santa Clara managing? Just to, to add on to what you said, which was very accurate, the federal government told the state government the conditions of your Prisons, right. again, it's state prisons, state prisons. county jails, yep. Yep. okay? Prisons are where the really bad offenders go and stay for an extended period of time. Right. Jails are where the not so bad people go and people waiting trial go for a short period of time. They're physically <laughs> constructed different. Right. Line of sight, number of correctional officers, but be that as it may, federal government said state, your, jail, your prisons are overcrowded and unsatisfactory. We're gonna reduce funding to you if you don't do something about right. it. They picked up the phone and said, hey, county, <laughs> yes. county, we need to reduce the number right. of people we have in our prison. We're going to be sending you some people. Some. Some. <laughs> they sent us a some. Lot of some. We got a lot over a one-year period, Brad, a big spike. Right. And now that's kind of leveled off. When we first got those prisoners, it was a big shock, but we had enough advance warning and funding to be prepared and to deal with it, the incoming. It's interesting you say that because some of your counterparts in other counties aren't as generous okay. with how they look at AB 109 and realignment. It could just be each county has s experienced the realignment proposition differently. Is that fair? I think we've all experienced it the same. I think the way we've dealt with it is different. Mm -hmm. Our people, and I'll brag again about Santa Clara County people. It's all people, good. You're allowed. Okay? Thank you. Uh, Our people knew what was coming, looked at best practices elsewhere mm -hmm. to come up with, okay, what are we going to do? These people are coming. They went and then met with the people that are going to be um, relocated in our jails from the prisons and said, okay, and I'll use you as an example. Okay, Brad, where do you call home? What, what degree of education right. do you have? What do you need to get your GED? Do you know Microsoft Word? Do you and know Excel? And that was the intent behind yes. the realignment plan. Yes. I want to come back and speak with you about recidivism. Santa Clara County's done a great yes. job. Yes. We're out of time, but I want to thank you so much for joining us. He is right. Mike Wasserman. He is a supervisor in Santa Clara County. My name is Brad Pomerantz and Gilroy. It's Charter Local Edition.